Hey y'all, Altarian here with another prop review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Wand Company's uh, 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote Control. Uh, this is the, the other version of the 10th Doctor Screwdriver that I have, um, and it's the it's one of the few uh, versions of it that are out there. Well, it's not few. I said Underground Toys made a couple of versions. There's the Wand Company that made this one, and then there's a couple places out there that made more make more like custom made to order. Uh, props that are super expensive, uh, but this one, like I said, one company, it goes for about a hundred bucks. Uh, like I said it is a, it is a universal remote. You can control stuff with this uh, using gestures and whatnot. Uh, but like I said, this one is actually pretty dead on. Uh, it's pretty screen accurate. When the Wand Company made this, they actually did a scan of David Tennant's personal screwdriver. So the size of it's accurate. The sculpt of it should be should be pretty screen accurate, and it is really nice. It feels really really high quality. Uh, like I said to go for about a hundred bucks, so it's not bad uh, price wise for a good screen accurate prop replica of the Tenth Doctor screwdriver. Uh, so we'll take it off here. It does come with this nice base. It's got some Gallifrey and script on there. It's a pretty cool base. Uh, it's got a magnet to make it stand up, and it's in this circle here that that magnet's in. And the base itself has a little weathering going on, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, like I said, overall, it's a pretty nice screwdriver. It's, it's my favorite uh, representation of the Tenth Doctor screwdriver. Uh, and like I said, I have two of them. Uh, so this is definitely my favorite. Uh, how it works is, like I said, it is screen accurate, so the slider does have the button here to make it work, and of course it does slide up and down. It has the yellow wire inside there, which is, I think, is more accurate to what it's supposed to be. And of course the blue strip is just the blue strip on this one, uh, which is nice. And then for, like, charging and whatnot, you can take the black cap off, and there's the micro USB port. It has a built-in rechargeable battery, and it only uses power uh, when you actually press the button to make it work. So the standby time on this thing is amazing. Like, I haven't touched it in a couple weeks, and the battery is still going strong on it. So, like I said, it has the slider, extends, goes back in, and unlike the toy, you can press it, you extend it, and it works all the way. Uh, and the slider adjusts the volume, as you can kind of hear. Uh, it gets quieter when you start it, and if you extend, it gets louder. So that's also kind of volume control for the sounds the sound effects, which is really cool. Uh, if we take a closer look here, you can kind of see what it looks like. You have the black at the bottom here. Uh, we have the nice aluminum, I believe this is aluminum, crafted aluminum here, and then we have this crackle pattern, which is really, it's a more subtle on this one than it is on the toy, but it looks really, really nice. I don't know what, this is just, I feel it's just plastic. I don't think it's anything special, uh, but we'll go around here. You can see the blue line. And then, of course, the slider itself. I don't have really many complaints about this. One of the ones I have is that this this button that you use, is it hurts if you hold it down for a while. Uh, you can kind of see on my thumb, I kind of indented it a little bit from when I was using it. It's not going to really focus. But it kind of hurts if you if you do it for long periods of time. It, it gets kind of painful to hold that button down. Uh, let me just take a look here. Refocus. There we go. Uh, look at overall, it's really nice. Uh, here's the top again with the nice aluminum, and you can kind of see the the wiring going on inside of there. And now we have the top parts. Come on. Focus. So like I said, it's really nice. It's blue, unlike the toy, which is purple. This has a nice blue light on it, uh, which is a nice difference. It's the actual accurate color, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so basically how it works is, like I said, it's controlled all by gestures. It's all gesture-based controls. Um, so it, when if it, it's in FX mode right now, which means it just makes sound effects, so I can show off some of the sound effects here. Uh, so if you just press and hold, it just does the normal sonic -y screwdriver noise. Uh, if you want to do other things, you would double press and then gesture. The turning and rotating ones don't super work very well, but that's how it works. And then uh, with this one, uh, it has a really cool feature on it where if you press and hold the button three times, uh, it will turn on or off 
any, pretty much any television. Uh, it sends out a bunch of IR codes. You can see it blinking there. It'll send out a bunch of IR codes, and it will turn off or on pretty much any TV that's out there. Uh, when I first got this, I went to, to Walmart just to test that, and I turned off like half of their TV wall at once. So like I said, it definitely does work, and it's definitely a really, really cool feature. Uh, so to cycle through the different options on this, I'll get it closer so you might be able to hear it. Uh, you just have to press it. Practice mode lets you practice the gestures. Uh, control mode is doing controls. It has multiple memory blocks, so it can hold a lot of different codes. Uh, I don't like I said I don't actually use this as um, a remote control. It's just more for me. It's a prop replica. Like when you do gestures, yeah, it's saying unassigned because I haven't actually programmed anything. I programmed it to a couple things on my TV, uh, but I don't know if it's in the right memory block right now. Um, and then we go next. Quiet control mode means it won't make any like sonic screwdriver noises when you do gestures and stuff, which is kind of nice if you are using this remote. You probably don't want it always making the uh, sonic screwdriver sound effects. Uh, and again, FX mode. Uh, so like I said, you program it. Programming this thing for a remote is super, super easy. Uh, you just need to take your other remote, basically point it at the top when it's in a programming mode. Uh, and you just do the thing on the remote you want it to do, and the rem the screwdriver will let you assign a gesture to that. It's really easy to program. Like I said, it's a really cool prop replica. I would definitely recommend this guy if you have the money to spend on it. It goes for about a hundred bucks. Uh, they also do an eleventh doctor's screwdriver, which I will be doing a review on in a couple weeks, as well. Um, so like I said, this one very cool. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. Like I said, it's a pretty screen accurate replica of the screwdriver and it's only a hundred bucks. Some of those other companies that make like build to order prop replicas go for several hundred dollars. Whereas this one is screen accurate as far as I'm concerned and it goes for about a hundred bucks. So it's not a bad price. It's much, much better quality than the toy version. Uh, and I will be doing a comparison between the two of these uh, next Friday. Uh, so like I said, that's pretty much all I have to say about him. Definitely worth the money. I'm very happy with him. Uh, so if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. I'll be back on Monday, I believe, with a Diamond Select Toys Star Trek uh, review. I think it's going to be the Wrath of Khan Enterprise. Uh, so we'll be back on Monday with that, and thank you very much for watching.